Jackie Johnstone here with this video tech tutorial on getting started with Buffer. Buffer is one of my absolute favorite social media tools. Um, it makes my social media um, scheduling life so much easier and so much smarter. Uh, so today we're going to we're going to go through how to get set up if you've never used uh, if you've never used Buffer before. So I'm going to create an account from scratch with a test. Um, Twitter handle for the moment, and then we'll dive into um, into my personal account and, and take a look at some of the buffer features. So to create an account, um, I'm going to choose to sign in with Twitter, but you have lots of different options here. And it's going to go and ask my um, Twitter account to authorize the application. And now it's saying, um, would you like to create a new account, which I do. So when I click um, create a new account, there we go. Um, now it will ask me to um, to grab uh, an extension for my browser. Um, I'm using Chrome, so it's asking me to grab the Chrome extension, but they also have extensions for um, Firefox and Safari. Um, an extension is like a built-in sort of plug-in tool that you can have in your browser. Um, this little this little guy here is actually the buffer extension, um, and this is the number one way I use Buffer is through this extension. So I definitely recommend that you you do the um, the install process and install the extension for your browser. Um, so I'm just going to skip this step because I already have it installed. And now we're going to be in our Buffer dashboard. Um, so there's not a heck of a lot here. Oh, it wants me to add an email address. So let me just do that. And you can follow Buffer on Twitter if you like. They're, they share really great stuff. Um, I do follow them. So now I press that. And here we go. Um, now we're inside my Buffer dashboard, and this is my test Twitter account with the little egg here. Um, and you have a chance to, you know, connect um, a Facebook page or connect other types of profiles um, like LinkedIn or App.net. Um, with the free Buffer account, you can only have one profile of each social network type. So one Twitter account, one Facebook page, and that includes... Um, whether that's your personal Facebook profile or your business page, it's one or the other in your buffer if you want to stick with the free plan. Um, so you, you will have to make some decisions there. Um, but if you're using it for your business, then obviously I would say your Twitter account, your Facebook business page, and, um, and LinkedIn are great places to start. And, um, and so now that we're here in the buffer, you can see that we've got uh, – We've got these like tabs across the top that will help us to set things up. Um, this is just telling us to install the extension, but I already have that. So I'm going to click on analytics, and there aren't any because I haven't shared anything through this um, through the buffer to this Twitter account. In fact, this Twitter account is completely empty. So we're going to dive more into that when we're in my own buffer account. Um, but this next tab, schedule, this is the absolute best thing about buffer. So with all the different types of accounts um, that you can have once you've got them connected in here, you have a separate schedule tab, and here in the schedule tab, um, you set posting schedules. And this, what this is allowing you to do is A, to choose your time zone. So I'm in, uh, I'm in France, I'm in Bordeaux, um, so Paris is my time zone. So there, I pick my time zone, and then... Um, in the free program, you can only have one posting schedule. It's the same for um, all of the days of the week. So we just stay on every day because if you try to go here, it's going to tell you to, to upgrade. Um, so you can choose how many tweets and at what time. Uh, so you'll see later as we start, as I go through to show you how to work buffer, that as you find things, it puts things into your, into your buffer, into your queue. So if you find 10 articles within 10 minutes that you want to share on Twitter, for example, you don't want to just spam your followers with 10 links within, you know, a 15-minute period because that's really, you know, that's a lot to take in and you're not going to get the best um, exposure and it really kind of annoys people. So here you can select um, how many times, so there's, there's four posting times automatically put in and they sort of base it out throughout the day um, by default for Twitter. And once you have Facebook connected, you'll see when we go into my account, I put, have less time um, posting times listed for Facebook because I don't want to send four Facebook posts a day. I maybe only want to send one. And same with LinkedIn. I maybe want to send one or two updates a day. So you set the frequency and the time. And then say if you dump your 10 articles in, 
they automatically slot themselves into that time. So you we have four articles shared throughout the day on Monday, and then on Tuesday, another four articles will get shared throughout the day, and then the next two will go into the first two slots on Wednesday. And so suddenly you've found 10 great articles, but now you'll be scheduling them and sharing them um, across you know, a good amount of time and um, without, uh, you know, without having to go back and, and, uh, and, and put them into the account um, manually or go through and schedule each one in your Hootsuite or whatever other social media management tool you have and to pick it. So this happens automatically, which is so amazing. So you want to do um, a little bit of thinking for each of your accounts. Uh, what time, how many posts, um, especially if you're trying to reach multiple time zones, for example. For Twitter, you actually have, if you have a, a good base of followers, you actually have um, a couple of tools that will link right into Buffer to help you optimize the very best times to tweet to reach your audience. So that's what we're going to dive into next. So one of these um, Twitter optimization tools that will link up to Buffer is called Follower Wonk. Um, there are paid and free features of this, but in order to link it to your Buffer, it's actually a free feature. So you go to followerwonk.com um, and click Sign in with Twitter. Um, and then this is going to, again, um, connect to my test Twitter account. And we're going to go be directed back to the application. And then once we are in the application, let's just put that away for right now, I'm, what I'm going to do is go to Analyze Followers. And in Analyze Followers, I'm going to type my um, Twitter account. I'm actually going to type my real Twitter handle because the test account doesn't have, have, have any followers. So I'm going to click Analyze, um, Analyze Followers. So you would put your own Twitter account in here um, and then click Do It. And this is going to bring up um, a really interesting report that shows like the location of your followers, um, which is really neat. And then the part that's relevant for Buffer is the most active hours for my followers. So this is um, being shown in uh, in universal coordinated time, like Greenwich Mean Time. Um, so, but but it, it, it uh, links up to the local time set into your Twitter account. So you can see here, um, Greenwich Mean Time, 2 in the afternoon is 4 p.m. Uh, right now in France. So that's, showing, uh, so that's showing the local time. For me, most of my followers are most active in later in the afternoon and into the evening, my time here in France. And that's because a lot of my followers are in, the, in Canada or the U.S. because I used to live in Toronto, Ontario. Um, so it would be smart for me to schedule sharing posts later in my afternoon and into my evening when sometimes later on in the evening I'm not on social media at all, but I could still have, um, still have buffer uh, tweets going out. So you select how many times a day you want to tweet, so depending on how active a user you are. I, I like four or five times. We'll put five for a second here. And then we'll click Schedule at Buffer. And so you press that little Schedule button. And it, uh, it asks you to authorize, you click allow, and it's going to um, put up a little message at the top of the page here that says, success, we've replaced your buffer schedule. So it's replaced that um, default schedule. So we'll click, uh, we'll click on buffer schedule, and we'll go back to my dashboard here, and we'll go to the schedule tab, and then now you can see it's replaced the four um, default posts with five um, better optimized time posts. Now, if you find that these times are too close together, like we're posting twice at 4 o'clock and then twice at 5 o'clock, this is a lot of tweets within one hour, um, just because these are the absolute most active times um, doesn't mean you have to stick with them. So I would probably spread them out a little bit um, myself, like maybe go like that and put this one a little bit later at night and put this one a little bit earlier so it's a bit more spread out. Um, but there you go. So now you've got a totally optimized uh, Twitter schedule to, you know, share out your um, the content that you find uh, on the internet. Okay, so we're going to um, share some articles and put them in our buffer so you can see how it works. 
So here's um, an article that I want to share from somebody's Tumblr called The 80 Rules of Social Media. There are some awesome ones in here. So in order to add it to my buffer, I'm going to click the extension, um, my Chrome extension, or uh, in your Safari or Firefox. And you're going to see a little um, pop-up box. Now, when you have more than one account connected, as you'll see when we jump into my own account, you can choose, um, but we only have this one Twitter account, so it's automatically selected. Um, and Buffer puts in the um, title of the blog in this case, and then the um, title of the post, uh, as well as the short link. You can see that it's, uh, you have 55 characters remaining in order to write something um, to personalize the tweet. But I'm just, and you have the choice to share it right away or to add it to your buffer. So we're just going to add it to the buffer. And it's excited because we've buffered our first tweet. Um, and it's telling us when it's going to be sent. And that's the first, um, the first window that I have in my buffer for this afternoon. So now I've got this like little one here that says, that means I have one buff, one post in my buffer. And if I want to see it, now I click on buffer and here it goes. So there it's for today at 3.24 p.m. And here's the text. If I want to edit it, I can. I can edit the text. Um, and now it's uh, it's ready to go. You don't have to do anything. And this article will be shared at 324 to my Twitter followers. So let's do that again. Um, here's an article on Medium that I really like called Why I Don't Check Facebook Till 6 p.m. Um, I wish that I could not check Facebook until 6 p.m. struggling with the social media discipline is something that I uh, that I'm uh, still working on. But let's say there's something in here um, that uh, that I wanted to tweet um, as a quote. So when rules are there, it's easier to resist giving in if I'm not feeling like working that day. And so what I'm going to do is keep that highlighted and press the buffer button. And then automatically it pops into my buffer, the quote that I've highlighted, and the link. Um, now I could add the name of the blog or the author, or if there's like an app name for this person I want to share, um, I could share that uh, in here, for example. Of course, depending on space. Um, and, and then again, I would press buffer. So we can go back to the buffer, and now we have two tweets in our buffer. Um, and you can see one is uh, scheduled for 3.24, one is scheduled for 4.30. As per our schedule, we can move them around if we want. We can click the shuffle button, and, uh, and it will shuffle randomly. So um, now what I'm going to do is just jump into my own Buffer account so that you can see um, what it looks like with the different social networks connected and... Um, and what the options look like when I um, go to tweet from my own account. Okay, so here we are inside my Buffer account, and I'm going to just give you a little peek um, into uh, what it looks like when I share with Buffer. So we're back here at this article, The A Rules of Social Media, which I really love. I especially love rule number two. Social media is all about your audience, not about you or what you think. So I'm going to Buffer that. Quote. And the little pop-up should come up. There we go. Um, it's a little bit long, so I'm going to shorten the quote. Um, and then I'm going to select the account. So I have all these different accounts that I can choose from. Um, right now I just have Twitter selected. That's my default account, so it's why it's showing me 25 characters left. Uh, if I want to also send it to um, Facebook, then I can click that, and I'm going to get that little um, preview that you get for Facebook that shows, you know, the um, the uh, information about the article and allows you to choose um, choose a thumbnail um, or not have a thumbnail. So you can click. Um, so the nice thing about doing this to share across your different social networks is um, obviously it's going to send out at different times and optimize for the different networks. And I have um, less posts. A day through Facebook and LinkedIn, um, as we'll, we'll see in a second. So I'm going to post it to both of these um, social networks, and I'm going to click Buffer. And then I'm going to go back to my actual dashboard. So now that you see that there's um, a tweet in here, the one that we just made, um, and that's going to go out at 4 o'clock this afternoon. And I also have the same um, post in my Facebook, um, and this is what it's going to look like 
um, this is going to look like in Facebook. Now, if I wanted to edit it and put a little bit more information in here for Facebook, um, like 80 fantastic rules, um, social media rules, um, then, uh, then I can do that. And, and this is going to go out at 4.06. So we'll take a look. Yeah, I'll, I'll just show you here. So this is my Facebook schedule. So I only have two posts going out um, a day on Facebook for my buffer. And this is just the absolute most. Obviously, if I put nothing in my buffer, nothing gets posted. But if I put 10 Facebook articles in, it'll get shared out over five days. Um, and in my Twitter schedule, I've got four posts a day going out. Um, and this is based on, um, based on the input I got from my, uh, um, from my follower wonk. Uh, attachment. And then on LinkedIn, I don't have anything scheduled right now. Um, like you can see my buffer's empty, but, uh, but I have two posts a day going out at different times. So, so I, I can control all of my different social networks in terms of the sharing of things that I come across on the internet, which let's be honest, that's all the time. And then I don't have to go into my hood suite and think about what time and, um, you know, craft a tweet and all that kind of stuff. Another great thing before we finish up here, is um, Buffer has its own analytics. So I'm going to click on um, this analytics. Now I'm in my link. I'm still in my LinkedIn account, um, and this will um, this will show me of the posts that I shared on LinkedIn how they did. So how many people I'm reaching. Those are my connections on LinkedIn. Whether anyone reshared it or clicked on it, liked it, or commented. Um, my LinkedIn isn't extremely active, so I don't have a lot of um, analytics to show for it. But it's great to um, be able to keep track of that kind of time type of stuff. And it's the same thing with Twitter. So you can go and it'll tell you, you know, how many um, clicks or mentions um, or retweets you got for any tweet that you shared through Buffer. Um, and of course, how many followers you had, or, um, as well as if it gets retweeted. So here, someone retweeted it. And so then the tweet has a potential of reaching, um, you know, my followers and their followers. So then you get the 1.3k here. Um, and 353 clicks, which is really <laughs> quite a few clicks. Buffer is, in my opinion, the absolute best way to share all those um, articles and interesting things that you come across while you're surfing the internet. It'll spread the posts out through the day. It'll give you a consistent feed um, to your audience. There's lots of ways to connect to your Buffer. We talked about the browser extensions. Um, when you have the browser extension installed, you'll even see uh, Buffer options on twitter.com if that's how you um, interface with Twitter to buffer um, retweet, retweets. Um, and you'll even um, see buffer options within Facebook. Um, there are loads of other ways to connect to um, buffer. They have tons of apps and extensions there. You can go to the bufferapp.com extras page to check that out, whether it's um, you like to read articles within Feedly or Pocket, Instapaper, Scoop It. Uh, they'll all connect with your buffer, and in no time flat, you'll be uh, you'll be sharing social articles um, to your audience all week long without any headaches. I hope you enjoyed this video tech tutorial on how to get set up and get started using Buffer. Um, please let me know what you thought of this tutorial. If you have any questions on how to use Buffer, um, if you're already using Buffer, I'd love to hear um, how it how it fits into your social media management. So please come on over to JackieJohnstone.com and share, share, share in the comments. I read and respond to every single one. And if you like these video tech tutorials, feel free to jump on my list, uh, weekly social media tips and advice in your inbox, and you'll be the first to know when I create the next video tech training.